If you find the pronunciation of some English consonants difficult, you're in the right place. Because today, I'm here to help you with two consonants that a lot of English learners find very hard. P and B. Because mixing up these sounds can often cause a problem for non-native speakers of English. For example, would you rather go to a beach or to a peach? So, are you ready to improve your English speaking better and faster than you ever thought possible? I knew you would be. Let's go. Welcome to my channel where you will learn English better. I'm Deirdre Nicholas and for over 20 years I've helped thousands of learners all around the world improve their English and now it's your turn. So for the very best English lessons and a new way to learn English that really works, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button and the bell so you don't miss any of my twice weekly lessons. In this lesson I'm going to show you the difference between the sound P and B and how to pronounce those two sounds really clearly. I'm going to show you how to make those sounds in a word clearly and also in words in sentences clearly and fluently. So by the end of this lesson we will have practiced those sounds in words and sentences a lot together and at the end of this lesson I'm going to give you a famous really well-known tongue twister, English tongue twister that is known and loved by English learners all around the world. Okay now I want to start with two exercises that will help you to see the difference between the P and the B. Okay so the first one is you take a piece of paper and if you're an English teacher, you can do this with your students as well and hold up the paper like this. You hold the paper up to your mouth and make the sound for P, like this. Just watch. P. What did you notice? The paper moved. It's moving in the wind anyway, slightly, but the paper moved again P. because of the force of the breath behind the lips in when I make the sound P. Now I'm going to make the sound B. See if you notice any difference in that. Did the paper move? B. Not at all. And that is how you will know whether you have pronounced the P and the B correctly. With the P, the paper moves. With the B, it shouldn't. And if it does, you need to practice it more. Now, the second little exercise to do is hold your hand right up against your throat like this, just lightly, and say the letter P, the sound P, and then say B. Now what you should find is that because the B you're bringing in your vocal cords to play, you actually get vibration down here when you say the letter B. So P, nothing. B, vibration. So let's look more closely at the P sound, the P. Okay, so let's get ready to make the sound. We close our lips lightly like this and then you can feel the air coming towards the lips um, so that you're just about ready to push the air out when you make the sound of the P. So P like that. You can feel the force behind your lips P, and that causes the lips to pop open and of course that's what causes the air on the piece of paper and in fact it's easy to remember the P because it sounds like a pop. So practice this until you get the sound of the, of the air popping out of your mouth like that. So here's some words to practice the sound P. Okay. Pie, party, people, pen, pop, apple, open, paper, puppy, ripe, hop, map, tap. So what you've done there if you copy me, is you've practiced the sound P at the beginning of a word, in the middle and at the end. So now you're ready to do some sentences. First one, please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Number two, don't open the soap in the supermarket. Don't open the soap in the supermarket. Number three, I put the map in my pocket. I put the map in my pocket. And number four, she put the chips, plums, peas and pizza on the plate. 
she put the chips, plums, peas and pizza on the plate. And now for the B sound, so B. Now we start the same way as we did for the P, by closing our lips lightly, but instead of forcing the air from here, from inside the mouth towards the lips, the air to make the B sound comes from the throat and it vibrates as we did before. So it's B, B. Now make sure you practice this until you get the sound right. So before you even start about practicing um, words, you must get the sound right. So B, B. So here are some words. Back, by, baby, boat, biscuit, above, rubbish, maybe, club, web, job, crab. So again, we've practiced the B sound at the beginning, in the middle and at the end of each word. So now for some sentences. The baby bounced the ball. The baby bounced the ball. The book was beautiful. The book was beautiful. The boy had a job aboard a boat. The boy had a job aboard the boat. They ate baked beans, biscuits, bananas and crab. They ate baked beans, biscuits, bananas and crab. And here is the English tongue twister. Are you ready? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, how many peppers did Peter Piper pick? And how about speeding it up just for fun? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. If Peter Piper picked a peck, pe ah, you see, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many peppers did Peter Piper pick? So answers to the tongue twister question, I can't say tongue twister now, answers to the tongue tw twister question, how many pe pickled peppers did Pe Peter Piper pick in the notes below? Thank you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I would love to hear from you. So please write your comments in the section below. Don't forget, I post two lessons a week, one on a Tuesday and one on a Friday. So subscribe by clicking on the red button and the bell so you don't miss any of my future lessons. So enjoy your English and I'll see you really soon. Bye.